Lizards at the zoo are small enough to handle, but a type of lizard that roamed the earth 36 to 40 million years ago was as big as a German shepherd. The lizard was almost six feet long and weighed more than 60 pounds. Here is an iguana. This is a large adult for that species. This part of the jaw here, just that little piece, is this part right here. So the lower jaw of this fossil lizard is almost four times larger than the skull. University of Nebraska-Lincoln paleontologist Jason Head reconstructs the history of fossils discovered in the 1970s in Myanmar. The fossils had not been studied until they were brought to Head's attention a few years ago. Research by a team of scientists led by Head is described in the Proceedings of the Royal Society, a prestigious biological research journal. This would have been one of the largest lizards ever to live on Earth, and it's the first giant plant-eating lizard ever recovered. Head named the lizard Barbaterix morrisoni. The genus name Barbaterix means bearded king after the soft tissue that gives some lizards a bearded appearance. And morrisoni? I chose Jim Morrison because, of course, The Doors music has a lot of themes of using reptiles and kind of ancient past. And it's very mystic and it's very different. And of course, Jim Morrison was the lizard king. And since this is a king-sized lizard, it worked perfectly. Morrisoni lived during a time when Earth was in a warm greenhouse phase characterized by high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The ecosystem allowed the plant-eating lizard to survive and compete. And so we would have never known that this could have ever occurred just by looking at lizards today. So this is one of these situations where you actually have to go back in time into the rock record and get fossils that provide that unique information on the origin of modern ecosystems. If global temperatures rise at a natural pace, Head believes we could once again see the evolution of giant reptiles. But we could also see extinction if climate changes happen too fast. Head will continue to follow the clues left by Barbaterix morrisoni. Because that becomes very important in modeling what temperature change across the surface of the planet will be like in the future. And that bears directly on our own health. <laughs>